Now that, now, now for the straight talk. Listen, turn to the person to your right. Yeah, go on. Now look at the person to your left. These are who you die for. Hmm? We're family. Granted, some of us have got actual blood in the room. You know? Yeah, I know. You, you are all my sons now, and my daughters. That's what a baseball team is, a family. And nothing, nothing tears a family apart. All right. Well, why don't we change and head upstairs for a victory pint? Good idea. Chair, I just uh, wanted to know if you'd give any more thought to what you want to do in the fall. I told you I'm going on tour with the band. Right, yeah, yeah, we are. I gotta tell you, I think the Fab Fletchers are a Jim Dandy outfit. Fab right? Felchers. Sure. Anywho, I just wanna make sure you're thinking about the future. <laughs> Can we get out of here? I feel like my nose hairs are burning. Yeah, it's a little, <coughs> a little rank in here. Yeah. Well, look, look, I want you to know, I'm not mad about you striking out, <laughs> right? I mean, uh, those pitches were way outside, you know, but uh, that doesn't matter. Uh, what matters is you, you lost your composure, hmm? I mean, baseball isn't about winning or losing, it's how you play the game. Now, I like to think this uniform uh, you know, means, means more than just competing, right? Uh, do I want to compete? Heck yes, absolutely. But, you know, when, when you put this uniform on, I, I want you to understand that, that life is bigger than baseball. Hmm? I mean, when you wear this uniform in life... But I'm not wearing this uniform in life. Well, the, the uniform is a, it's a, it's a metaphor. Oh, yeah? For what? Well, it, it's... Uh... Well, look, listen. Life's gonna give you bad calls and hard plays. Hmm? Uh, but through it all, you, you gotta set your chin, grit your teeth, and take it like a man. That's why we play the game. You understand? Yeah. Great. Thanks. That way. I'm, uh, I'm proud of you, son. Real proud of you. Why don't you head on out? It's a little fumey in here. Jessica, that, that, that was a fantastic play. I mean, you, you won us the game, hmm? But, but more importantly, you didn't give up when things were looking down there for a minute. You, you came in there and caught not just the ball, but y your teammate, but heck, the, the whole gosh darn team. Lifting each other up when we stumble. Going the extra mile when things are looking bleak. That is the kind of catching that I like to see. So if we can just, just catch that feeling we have, you know, when we, uh... Yeah, yeah, it was a great hustle, Jesse. I, I sensed a, a real lack of concentration out there, you know? And I don't want to name any names there, you know? <coughs> Juice box. But uh, <coughs> I, think, I think we could all stand <coughs> to remember to, uh, you know, keep our heads in the game a little more. You know, th this is a game of, of focus and concentration. You, you gotta live in the moment so fully that, 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 that nothing can distract you, right? You're, you're like, a, like a train on a, on a one-way track. And, and, and a train can only go forward. I mean, there sure as heck isn't any rear view mirror on a train, you know, because they, they, they can't go in reverse, you know? <laughs> well, well, they can, but they, they, you gotta flip a lever there, I think. They, they got a guy for that, you know? Impressive things, trains, when you think about it. Jerry and I went to the, uh, the Ford Museum there down in Detroit, remember that, Jerry? And they, they had an actual locomotive there, right there in the, in the, in the museum. <laughs> it's quite a thing to see. You know, that was a heck of a weekend, wasn't it? Yeah, yeah the, uh, the Jays were in town, and uh, Boomer Wells threw a heck of a game. We won, of course, but no, wait, wait, wait I'm, I'm wrong. It was, uh, no, Boomer was playing for the Tigers. That's right, we lost. <laughs> yeah, anywho, where, where, where was I, uh, Linda? Keep your shit together. Right, 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 yeah, concentrate, huh? Now look, I, I know that's uh, nobody's favorite way to lose a game, but, you know, the ump made a call. That was a bad call. That fuck was way off the bag. Dave is a good man, all right? He's a top-notch contractor. He, he, he poured the concrete for our driveway. The driveway is cracked, Dad. Well, that's just normal wear and tear. Debatable. Look, <clears throat> I know it's a bitter pill to swallow, all right? But, but this game is about more than just winning and losing. It's about sportsmanship and, and, and <clears throat> playing by the rules, you know? And I, I personally would rather know that I'm right than, than make a big fuss. That, to me, is what being a man is. No, that's what being a pussy is. Anthony, language. No. Fuck that shit. You were safe by a mile. You should have gotten way in that douchebag's face. I mean, that's what I would have done. That's what a man would have done. You, uh, you got no balls. Well, that, uh... Okay, okay. Got no balls. Huh? Hey, don't dwell on it. That's exactly what Julie used to say, yeah? You got no balls. Ouch. I got balls. I got plenty of balls. Yeah. 
Well, what time is it in California? I'm gonna call her. That's a bad idea. No, that's a good idea. Hey, Andy, I, I, uh, I got balls, right? Well, I'm not a huge fan of using gendered language to describe non-binary characteristics, as it essentially frames courage as a male trait, but be that as it may, yes, of course you have balls. Ha! There you go. Whoa, 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 where are you going? I gotta go get some air. Yeah, we'll see who's got balls. Yeah, I got beach balls, sweet pea. Beach balls, medicine balls, that's what I got. Yeah, yeah just pushing the button and giving you an earful. Just pushing the button. Getting an earful. Jesus Christ. Hi, hi, Julie. Hi, yeah, it's uh, it's Benjamin. Yeah. Well, I'm I'm, I'm calling uh, because there, there's there's something that I've wanted to say to you. Uh, look, this is what I need you to hear, Julie. See you. Huh? No, this is not a drunk dial. But th th this is me finally standing up to you and tell. Uh. Hmm. Oh. Uh, you're right, yeah, sure, it is a little bit late. No, I, yeah, I, I didn't think it through, because I was... Uh, well, sure, that's very fair, but no, that's, a, that's a good point. Uh, yeah, hmm? I, 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 I am, I am listening to you, Julie. I, he does, huh? That's uh, good for Larry. <laughs> right. Uh, yeah, I, I, am, I, am, I am signing it and sending it uh, today. Sure. <laughs> All right. And uh, s s sorry again for bothering you. Uh, you have, uh, take care, all right? <laughs> Fuck! Sounds like a real bit. Mm. No. No, she, she is a wonderful woman. <laughs> <laughs> That's bullshit. <laughs> Jesus! Just say it. Stop playing with your nice guy and just say it. She is a, a bitch. Yes! More! Okay. She is a bitch! <laughs> yes! Yes! Feels good, it doesn't does it? Interesting. Right, so let's uh, let's have a box bring bomb, shall we? Uh, one, two, three. That's, that's it, troops. <laughs> Burr. Hmm. You know I have to talk? Yeah, yeah, sure thing, Anthony. Why don't we uh, head to the old office? Have you seen Crimson Tide? The one on the nuclear submarine? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. It's uh, Hunt for Red October. What? No, Hunt for Red October is Hunt for Red October. Well, well then, no. Crimson Tide is the one where Gene Hackman is the captain of a nuclear submarine, and he goes all crazy crazy and he almost nukes half of Russia and so his second in command a badass Denzel Washington yeah. has to come in and relieve him of his duty yeah I, I did see that yeah and, and uh, Sean Connery is the Russian guy but no that is Hunt for Red October <laughs> listen you don't want to f the movies okay the point is is the relieving of the command what look I don't want to make a big deal here but uh, I know what you did on the roof with messy Jesse and uh, I don't think that you're, well, you know, fit to come in. So I want the keys to the ship. Hey, look, we can do this the easy way, or we can do this the way where I tell everybody. No, please, don't do that. You wanted to uh, see me? Yeah. Um, oh, it's pretty boss, right? Hmm? Hmm? <laughs> yeah, listen, Berg, I know you ain't the manager anymore, but I still need your help. Oh, well, sure, son. What, what, what can I do for you? Well, um, how the fuck do you get this thing to work? You know, I've been trying my ass off, but I can't get it to oh, well, work. Yeah, well, you gotta set it on auto brew there. Oh, here, <clears throat> here? No, just there. This? Over, over there. Yep. We want a speech! Speech! Well, speech! 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 Well, I, I don't think there's any need for... Well, we, uh, we've had our season. And what a season it has been. Hmm? We've had our ups, we've, we've had our downs, we've had our wins, and we've had our losses. Uh, but a wiser man than myself once said, it's not whether you win or lose, it's it's how you play the game. Oh, amen. And uh, I gotta tell you, I I am so proud of each and every one of you. Well, I'm, I'm, I'm pretty proud of you. I, uh... I... He's seen you all become better people. <laughs> and if there's one thing, I, um... I just... It has been an honor 
to serve with you. Thank you, Linda. Thank you. Well, all right. <laughs> Let's get one last box spring bomb in here, huh? What? <laughs> yeah. Okay. Boing, boing, box spring! <sighs> Way to rally. I don't know, Linda. You know, maybe it's the smell of the grass, or the shape of the diamond. But... 